Hey y'all, good morning. So today I thought I would do a little bit of a different type of video and that's trying out concealers because I have been in this, you know, on the search for a good concealer for a while now. And right now I'm going through this scenario where it's like, I'll uh, set my under eye makeup and then it makes me look like 10 years older than what I am. And so, I'm trying to combat that by using different types of concealers. And I'm gonna see, I've heard so many, I've read so many reviews, I've heard so many recommendations. Um, I posted on Instagram in my stories, recommendations and you guys are fabulous and answered, gave me lots of recommendations. So I just obviously can't go and buy the whole market of concealers. So I thought I would buy like a handful and just test them out over the course of the week. So that's what this video is about. Let's do this. Okay, so I always like putting like some kind of primer or under eye something or another to just make sure that my concealer, you know, will grip on that area. And this one I've been really liking. It's the Stay Don't Stray Light Medium by Benefit Cosmetics. So I'm going to, you don't need a lot. I also put some on my, oh. Okay, that side had a lot of product. Also helps to um, give you more coverage because it is tinted. And then I'm gonna be blending everything out with a beauty blender. So I picked up these concealers yesterday, so I have no idea if they're going to match me perfectly or not. We kind of just went with it with COVID and everything. You know how testing everything is just so limited. And uh, the Sephora that I went to was like one inside of JCPenney and um, they couldn't even give you a test or like they couldn't even open the package and like test it on you or anything. So um, the very first one I'm gonna do today is by Clinique. This is the even better all over concealer and eraser. Um, on one side, it does come with like a sponge. So I guess if you, you know, were in a pickle and you needed a sponge to, you know, blend it out, it would do that for you. Um, but then it's just like a doe foot applicator. So it looks like it'd be a match. I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead. And we'll see. Good coverage. I guess that's what we're gonna be looking for. We're gonna be looking for the coverage, the longevity, and how it makes my under eyes look over the course of the day. Like, I don't want it to cr be creepy or crepey or how do you say it? I don't know, like, I don't want, I don't want it to accentuate my fine lines, I guess. I don't know, I guess I could probably do a little bit more on this side. I could have probably gone a shade lighter, I think, but we're just gonna have to do with what we have. This one was highly uh, recommended, by the way. So that's concealer number one, the Clinique concealer. I'll let you know how I feel. So one thing that I'm gonna be doing differently here is um, to like brighten up the area and everything and set my under eye area. Um, I'm gonna be using the Bare Minerals Well Rested Concealer. Um, I mean, it's not really called a concealer, it's more like an under eye brightener, um, but since it's in a powder form, I'm gonna go ahead and use one of my just simple fluffy brushes and I just put the very, smallest amount of product in there and then I just did this and then I just buffed it in lightly and I can already tell it has brightened up that area right now what I use to set my under eye is a Laura Mercier secret brightening powder I also have one from Pat McGrath that's an under eye powder. So I wanted to change it up and see what else I could use under my eye area. All right guys, day two, that means the second concealer. And today I am gonna be testing out this one by Sephora. It is a gel formula. And I picked up the color uh, Tatin or Tahin or something. I can't, I can't even read that. 
It's number 11. Again, Sephora, because of COVID, would not let me, you know, the lady wouldn't even test it on me um, because there was tape all around the testers and stuff like that. So I don't even know if this color is gonna match me, but we're going to make do. Okay, so let's go in with the concealer. Um, this is just called Bright Future Doe Foot Applicator. Straight away, it's nice and silky feeling. Um, and it kind of feels like it's gonna have good coverage just by the feel of the formula. It doesn't feel like cakey or anything, but. Color is actually pretty good. I always bring it up this way. And whatever's left on the sponge, I just go over my eyelids. And like, I like it because with that primer, you can already feel the concealer like adhering to it. Do you know what I'm saying? Like it's like attaching to the, the primer. So, so far the coverage is pretty good. So now I'm just gonna go in with a little brush, a little bit of um, this stuff, a little bit goes a long way. And so I'm just gonna stipple this underneath. Wow. This works so well as a brightener, guys. Look at the difference. So you can still see that I could probably use another layer of concealer here. Um, but since I'm using this well rested, and I'm just kind of feathering it in my cheekbone area. All right guys, so this is the third and final concealer that I will be testing. It is by Tarte Cosmetics. It is called the Creaseless Concealer. My shade is in light, medium, neutral. Um, it gets tons of great reviews. It's supposed to be waterproof and long lasting and great for anti-aging um, as, you know, it says creaseless concealer. So I'll be going in with the same technique I've been going all week um, using a primer. This one is one of my favorites, does a really good job. And then I'll be setting it with the Bare Minerals Well Rested. So I tried to get the best lighting um, in and around the house um, because I didn't want any studio lights or anything like that because I kind of wanted to be in like real time. So I'm going to apply some of that. All right, let's go in. I can already tell you, it does feel a little bit thicker than the other ones. I may have applied too much. I'm going in with my well rested. This literally, you don't need very much. Okay, so right away, I could have, I noticed that I could have probably gone a shade darker. Um, this is really brightening, and I already can tell that I'm probably gonna have to go back with my foundation to kind of like blend this out a little bit. Um, but I do like the coverage so far. It is very hydrating, so if you do have aging underneath your eyes, um, you know, this would probably benefit for hydration and moisturization. Um, you will have to set it because it is a more of a slippery product but we'll see how it wears throughout the day. All right guys, so this is my conclusion to my concealer video. I ended up testing three concealers. One was by Clinique, it's called the Even Better All Over Concealer and Eraser. The other one was by Tarte, it's called the Creaseless Concealer and Sephora's Bright Future Gel Formula Concealer. Um, what I use to prime my under eye area and my eyelids is this one by Benefit Cosmetics. It's amazing. It helps with the longevity of your concealer. It also helps with veins and purpleness and discoloration under your eye and on your eyelids. 
Um, and to set my concealer in the under eye area, I use this product. It is well rested by Bare Minerals. It also has SPF 20, which is important for me because that is a very thin area. I really enjoyed using this under eye brightener because not only did it set my under eye area, it did help to brighten it up and it did not make it look cakey. It was a very light formula. Basically this one, the Clinique, um, even better all over concealer and eraser is great. It's a great formula. Um, I just feel that for what I needed, it just didn't suit my needs. I feel it's someone in their early 20s would benefit more from this concealer. Um, there was another Clinique concealer that was recommended that I still want to try. It is for anti-aging, so that one might be in a separate video soon. But um, this one I highly recommend it for anyone that has maybe less dark circles, less puffiness, and less fine lines under their eye area. The second one is by Sephora. The formula was beautiful. It felt really silky and soft under the eye, but I felt like I have to. I had to put so much product under my eye area just to get the coverage that I wanted, but the longevity was there, so that's still a plus on this, and it's super affordable. My favorite out of the three was this one by Tarte Cosmetics. It's the Creaseless Concealer. It is a little on the thick side, but I love the coverage. A little bit does go a long way and it just blended out like butter. It was amazing. And then whenever I went over top with the Well Rested, um, I just think that these three are just a beautiful trio. So that is what I'm gonna be using for <laughs> the next few weeks to see if I still enjoy it. But out of the three, this was my favorite. So um, I got the hydration, I got the coverage, I got the longevity, I got everything that I was looking for. So I'm hoping that it keeps on going strong for me. But this one was the one I chose. To blend it out, I did use a beauty blender. I love this, it gives you an airbrush finish, flawless look. If you moisten it a little bit, don't ever use a dry. It'll actually take away the makeup instead of distribute the makeup evenly. And then I used um, this It Cosmetics Concealer Brush. Uh, you can use it for cream products, but I use it for both. Um, I started using this with cream products and now it works beautifully with uh, this well-rested product and it fits right underneath this under eye area without missing or interrupting any other makeup you have on your face. All right guys, that is everything for my concealer video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Till my next one, I will see you soon.